Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a quick little mod that you can make to the standard Xbox One controller that I think you're really going to enjoy. Now overall I'm a fan of the new controller, I think that Microsoft has made a lot of improvements in it over the 360, but there is one issue that's been irking me over the past months um, that I've really been eager to find a solution to, and that has to do with excessive amounts of play in the joysticks of the controller. Now, let's take a look at our right thumbstick here. And one thing you might notice, if the camera will focus, is that when you push up or down on the stick, there is often a little bit of play in here, as you can see like that. Now, when this happens, the thumbstick is really just rotating around the control underneath of it. And any time the stick goes up or down, you get that little bit of play in there which is really quite annoying. Um, really not a fan of that on Call of Duty, or really any game at all. So I started looking for different ways that we might be able to fix this problem. Now, thankfully there's a very easy solution for it, and all it really takes is a, a few tools. So the first thing you're gonna need is a, a spudger. Really, this is just a plastic pry bar made out of a very soft plastic that's not gonna damage um, the body of the Xbox One controller as you pry it apart. You're also going to need a tamper-proof T8 Torx driver. Um, so this is the, the Torx, but with the little hole in the middle of it uh, for those idiotic screws that Microsoft likes to use. Now both of these items, if you don't have them already, you can get them on eBay for just a few bucks a piece. Uh, really cheap. And the third and final um, thing you're going to need for this mod is a plastic sandwich bag, all right? This is actually the most important part. Uh, this is what's gonna fix that play in the joystick, and I'm gonna show you how in just a second. So, first what you're gonna need to do is dismantle the entire Xbox One controller. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to do that. There's other videos on YouTube, but it's pretty simple. All you need to do is remove these two side plates um, with the spudger tool, and then there's five screws, one in the back, and then two on each side. Um, so that's that's pretty easy to do, and you're gonna pull off the faceplate and find yourself looking at this. So these uh, thumbsticks, they actually remove quite easily from the body of the controller, and I think that's actually part of the problem here with these thumbsticks is that the tolerances between the hole in here and the control stick aren't very tight. So we have that play every time we go up and down, it plays around a little bit and doesn't give us precise motion. Um, but once it's fixed, as you can see here with this stick that I've already worked on, we have no play whatsoever. It feels a lot better um, and it's only gonna take you a few minutes to do. Okay, so the first thing you need to do once you've dismantled your controller is take your plastic sandwich bag and cut out a little rectangle. Um, I'm just gonna turn off the camera for a second so I can do that. Okay, so right here we have our little piece of plastic that I've cut out. Uh, it's just a little bit of a rectangular shape and it's just a single thickness of that plastic bag. Now what we're gonna do with this is we're very carefully I'm gonna place it on top of the control stick here and then place the thumbstick back over top of that. And the extra thickness of the sandwich bag, even though it's not even a millimeter thick, it's gonna be just enough to remove the play in that stick there. Um, so I'm gonna place it on here uh, after I turn off the camera for a second because it's a bit delicate and I don't want it to fly away. Okay, so now we have the plastic sandwich bag a rectangle there placed over the control stick and now what you need to do is then replace the thumb stick here uh, back over top of that making sure that the plastic sandwich bag does not fall off in the process so I'm just gonna start to put that on lightly and then show you the rest of the process okay so now we have the thumb stick placed on top of the control stick with the sandwich bag in between it and we're just going to gently kind of push down. Now it's snugger, so it's not going to go down quite as easily, but that's good. Uh, you're just going to want to wiggle it back and forth until finally it comes down to the bottom. 
once it's all the way down then our modification is done okay so now the fuck you you fucking piece of shit camera god fucking damn it okay so my camera's being a butt fucking piece of shit so it might have a hard time focusing on this but let's test out the play now that we have in our thumbstick here so we're gonna move down and then up you can see now we have absolutely no play whatsoever now it's completely fixed so every time we go up and down it's a smooth motion there's none of that tilting on the axis there all right so that's it that's all you got to do the whole modification uh, if you don't have these tools it's going to cost you under 10 bucks but if you already have these already it's pretty much free all you need is just a stupid sandwich bag um, and that's it. Problem solved. Awesome.